Alright, so why should anyone learn how to run a Shopify dropshipping business? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video and today I got some really good stuff for you guys. So I wanted to honestly just go heart to heart in this video. No BS, just kind of just go right to the point and kind of go over my reasoning as to why I believe it would be a good idea for anyone to learn how to run a Shopify dropshipping business, right? One of the reasons I wanted to do it is because right now, you know, my business partner Samir is actually in the middle of a testing a product in the marketplace, right? And he's literally been able to literally take an idea and literally put it into fruition within a few days and literally almost ready to launch and test a product into the marketplace. The reason why he's able to do that is because we've already learned the skill sets that it takes to run a successful e-commerce business where we're just drop shipping different products that aren't even ours. With this, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a private white labeled product. I honestly think it's gonna do well. I don't know yet, but based on the market research that we've done, and the different things that he's looked at, it looks like, you know, it, it's a good idea. So we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, but that's what I want to talk about today. In the future, you know, launching a business, a product or service, whatever the case may be, you're going to have to know a couple things, right? And one of those things for sure is you're going to have to have a website. Hands down, no business nowadays is up and running without a website. That's just logical. We're in 2018, everything is done being done on the internet. Next thing is, if you already have a product or if you have an idea for a product, but you don't know exactly how to launch it, how to price it, how to demonstrate it, how to sell it, things like that, you're gonna have to learn how to do market and product research, right? That's just inevitable. That's one of the things that actually my business partner was doing. You know, he was doing product research, comparing and contrasting other people to see how they're marketing their products, how they have it displayed on their website, all that great stuff, right? So you're gonna have to know that. You're definitely gonna have to know how to advertise and drive traffic to that product because of course, how are you gonna make sales if you're not driving customers and people aren't seeing the product? And you're gonna have to know how to increase the value for every single customer, right? How do you get customers to come back, buy from your store, become repeat customers, become loyal customers, leave reviews, all that great stuff, right? So you're gonna have to know all these th things. These are just simple things that I just called out that simply go into play when it comes time to start any business. Hands down, if you guys think about all the things that I just covered that you learn and you put into place when it comes time to run a Shopify dropshipping business. So for anyone that's thinking about in the future starting any type of business or service, an experiment, but you're not in the situation where you can just go off and you know start that business maybe because you don't have an idea yet, you can't fund that project, or maybe you just don't know how to really know how to even start a business overall. Well, Shopify dropshipping is an opportunity that you can take advantage of that's gonna teach you a ton about running a business, right? Because again, when people hear about Shopify dropshipping, like they say, oh, he's just getting products from AliExpress and selling it. Well, it's a lot more than just that. Like, yeah, you're getting the products from AliExpress, but again, you have have to know how to set up a website that actually converts which a lot of different things go into play you have to know how to do product research correctly because people talk about product research but like how do you really do it to find products that really work when people hear it like running a Shopify drop shipping business like there's a lot of things that go into play don't get me wrong like when I first got started with e-commerce and drop shipping honestly I was spending a lot of time in my day you guys may have already heard my story but I was spending a lot of time day in and day out really getting it going right so at first of course, we had to test and set up stores to see like what looks good, what doesn't. We didn't know what products to sell. When I say we, we, me and my business partner, we started together. We didn't know what products to sell at all. We had no idea. So when we were getting started, when we had no resources, because I didn't have many YouTube videos like this that I could just pop on and kind of start learning from, right? I didn't have a lot of different resources to use that obviously are available to you guys now. Honestly, for me and my business partner, it was a lot harder, but again, it's very doable. Again, it took a lot of time and effort and a lot of testing and really trials before you're able to make it, make, it, make it work. So I know for a lot of you guys just getting started, I know it's not easy. For a lot of you guys are already crushing it. Shout out to you guys, keep crushing it, let's scale up. I'm hoping that I can help anyone that's watching this video either get started, scale up, or really just take your business to the next level. Before I had a team, honestly, it was like literally consuming a lot of time, especially when I first got started. Like when you first get started, that's probably when it requires the most time because 
you know, you're obviously you're finding your own product, you're testing your own product, you're fulfilling your own orders, you're setting up your own store, all that stuff, right? So of course it takes time, but learning how to do all those things is actually super valuable because learning all the different parts of an, a Shopify dropshipping business, you know, how to set up a store that actually converts, how to set up the, the right cognitive biases that makes people actually want to buy your products. Like that's super useful, specifically if later on you ever want to start any kind of business, I guarantee it. All the skill sets that go into play out of running a Shopify dropshipping business are super valuable. I think Pluto's excited about starting his own um, Shopify dropshipping store. That's actually why he was barking. But yeah, the, so the skill sets that you will learn by running a successful Shopify dropshipping business are super valuable, guaranteed. So that's why for me, like being able to test a business model like Shopify dropshipping with not much capital that needed to be required to actually get started and getting all the skill sets that I need is like super valuable to me because I didn't, it, it didn't take much to actually get started, right? Other businesses, it's gonna take money to get started. It's going to take a lot more time. It's not gonna be as easy to do. And you may not even get the skills, the skill sets that you get from running a Shopify dropshipping business. You may get some skill sets, but they may not be as valuable. The, trust me, the most valuable skill sets right now, up to date, is being able to run an online business, get customers to see your product, have the right marketing in place to make people wanna buy your product and a whole lot more. So what I wanna have you guys understand is that the concept of the skill sets that you're gonna get from running an e-commerce business, you're gonna be able to use for life because literally right now, my business partner, he's using the same exact skill sets that we used to run our e-commerce and dropshipping business to launch and pretty much test a whole nother business, right? A business that, you know, obviously you guys know that with dropshipping, obviously there's a ton of money to be made, but when it comes to private white labeling products and building a brand around a specific product, there's a lot more money to be made because brands can sell any product that has a brand behind it can be sold for a whole lot more. And I already know that's how it works because me and my business partner met up with these guys now we're more like partners i would say somewhat mentors but these guys are doing three million dollars a month and they have multiple stores but their main store that they were generating all their traffic from was a store that they were selling literally selling the same exact product we were selling for seven to ten times the amount obviously branding isn't easy but for anyone or any store or website or business that gets it done right they're gonna crush it and do really well. So the skill sets that go into play when it comes to running a Shopify dropshipping business, like even if you guys, let's say you just don't like dropshipping, maybe because the idea, maybe you hate it, you don't wanna try to make money online, okay, the cool. I would recommend you guys at least try it as an experiment so you can at least equip yourself with the skill sets that you can then use to launch the business that you actually wanna launch. Because whatever kind of business you wanna launch, Hands down, you're gonna be using a lot of similar skill sets. You're gonna need it, especially now and date when everything is being ran online and internet businesses are taking over. I actually saw an article the other day about Toys R Us finally being shut down because now all toys and things like that are being bought online. That's just how it is. Any business idea that you guys have in mind, either now or the lead thing about doing later on, you're gonna need these skill sets. So my best tip of advice, if you get anything from my whole channel, is to equip yourself with the skill sets. I mean, you know, again, try out drop shipping, try to make it work and try to make money with it. That's obviously the ultimate goal. We're not gonna sit around here and not try to make money from it. I don't wanna make this too long of a video. I wanted to just kind of go heart to heart with you guys, kind of just share that because honestly, I'm literally witnessing it in front of my eyes of how really valuable like these skill sets are. And I wanna make sure that obviously you guys, you know, obviously take advantage as well. Cause I know you guys may hear about like, oh, this Shopify thing is hyped up. Even though it may be a little hyped up, there's still, tons of valuable things to learn from it. So I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Of course, if there's anything that I went over, you wanted me to clarify on, make sure you drop the question or comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.